Book 3, Lesson 1. Let's move to today's story. Monsters of the Deep. The Pacific Ocean is huge, but we see only its surface. Underneath, over half a mile down, is another world. This world is very dark. It is the watery home of the giant squid. These unusual creatures spend their whole lives there. Let us explore deep in the Pacific Ocean. We will go near the northeast coast of New Zealand. There we will learn something of these strange animals. Many scientists come to this area. They know it is a good spot to find giant squid. They also find sperm whales there. Sperm whales feed on the squid in this area. From one of their vessels, the scientists can see the great whales coming up to breathe. Sperm whales are huge marine creatures. They are 80 feet in length. They weigh up to 60 tons. Sperm whales can go without breathing for up to an hour. This lets them dive deep underwater. There they hunt for giant squid. The giant squid is an enormous creature, yet very few have been seen alive. Scientists instead examine dead squid that wash up on shore. The giant squid may grow to be 60 feet long when it is an adult. Its body is shaped like a cylinder. It has two fins at the tail end. It uses them for swimming. When it needs to, the squid can put on an extra burst of speed. First it swallows water, then it shoots the water out through an opening in its tail. A jet of water rushes out. This pushes the giant squid forward. The squid has two long, waving tentacles. Both are on its head. Each one has rows of hooks that can dig in deep. The squid uses them to grab food. It catches fish, crabs, and turtles. It also grabs smaller squid. It can capture anything else that swims within its reach. The squid also has eight arms. It uses them to stuff whatever it catches into its mouth. Then its powerful jaws go to work. Their jaws are shaped like a parrot's beak. Anything a giant squid grasps has little chance of getting away. The most unusual feature of a squid is its eyes. They are the size of dinner plates. The squid lives far down in the ocean. There is only a small amount of light that deep. In the darkness, the squid's large eyes give it good eyesight. It can probably see a sperm whale before the whale comes close enough to attack. This helps the squid escape. Scientists have looked at scars on sperm whales. They believe the beaks of giant squid caused them. This tells them that a sperm whale's attack may not always be fatal for the giant squid. The scientists use a small submarine to look for the squid. It is called a deep rover. This boat can dive to around 3,000 feet. It has powerful lights and four cameras. Scientists aboard a deep rover took the first pictures of a living giant squid. Scientists would love to one day film a fight between a whale and a giant squid. This is not very likely, however. Instead, what we may see on our television screen soon is the first close look at a giant squid. Its huge eyes will be staring at us out of the darkness. The End